Today I want to show you how to set up a client for Red Hat Single Sign-On, which will allow your applications to have user authentication and role-based access control with the same set of users across all your applications. We'll work with the Red Hat Single Sign-On operator that we've installed previously on OpenShift Local on our own computer. And you'll see how we configure that and make it ready for our applications. Let me show you how to get started. I will make sure my OpenShift local environment is running by typing CRC start in the terminal. And it gives me this console URL to OpenShift. Let's dive in there and look up the route for Red Hat Single Sign-On. I go to Networking, Routes, and make sure I'm in the SSO namespace. And here it is right here for Keycloak. I click on Administration Console and log in here. I show you more about this in previous videos. So now we have a, a custom realm called Smart City. We also want to create a custom client in that realm called Smart City. So the code to do that, we have some GitOps and it's in github.com slash org slash where to buy our smart village. And it's in the OpenShift customize bundles SSO app keycloak clients smart city keycloak client dot yaml you'll see here that we match our SSO application and our smart city realm we set up this client with a client ID of smart city we want standard flow enabled for, for open ID connect type authentication. We also want service accounts enabled so that our applications can authenticate to our service with a, a service token and authorization services enabled so that we can add advanced role-based access control to our resources in our application and some redirect URLs, which are used for when you're, someone goes to your application and goes to a page that requires authentication, it will send them to Red Hat Single Sign-On to enter their username and password. And then after they've successfully entered that, it will redirect them back to your site. And for local development, I've set up this callback URL at localhost colon 12080 for them to be redirected back to. And then I make that page send them to where they were trying to go before. We also have a logout URL, which we'll cover in future videos so that you can log out of your application successfully and log out of your session in a Java application, for example, at the same time. So let's try this out. I'll do OC apply dash K for customize. And then in OpenShift, sorry, I need to go to the code first in home slash dot local SRC smart to buy our smart village. And then here I'll run OC apply dash K open shift customize bundles SSO app equal client run this. It said that the, a key cloak client named smart city was created. Let's check it out. 
if I refresh this page, we should see Smart City client. Cool. Let's take a look. It's enabled. It has those flows and other options that we wanted. It has the redirect URIs. And it also has two client scopes set up, profile and smart city. These are important when we integrate it with our application, which I'll show you in a future video. So we are good to go. And there is a credential for you to connect to this client. And this is the secret right here that you can copy and paste into your application configuration or an environment variable. So I hope that was useful. Stay tuned because we're actually going to connect a real application, the Smart Village application to this Keycloak client and show you how that all gets integrated. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.